In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the definite integral of absolute value of x from negative 3 to positive 2. Now, if you remember what the absolute value of x looks like, it looks something like this. So there are two case scenarios for the integral of the absolute value of x dx. The first case scenario is when x is greater than or equal to 0, and the other one is when x is strictly smaller than 0. So this here will be positive x dx, and this down here will be negative x dx. So we're going to split this integral apart from negative 3. Let's say this is negative 3 to 0, and then from 0 to positive 2. So here, we have negative 3, the integral to 0 of the absolute value of x. And we know that when x is smaller than 0, we have negative x, right? So we put here negative x dx plus the integral from 0 to positive 2. And the value is going to be positive x dx. Now, what is the antiderivative of negative x? It's going to be negative 1 over 2 x squared from negative 3 to 0. And then what is the antiderivative of positive x? Well, it's going to be positive 1 over 2 x squared from 0 to 2. So that's how you would write it. And the last step is to plug these numbers in. So here you have negative 1 over 2 times 0 squared minus negative 1 over 2 times negative 3 squared. So like this. Plus 1 over 2 times x squared, and x is going to be 2, so times 2 squared, minus 1 over 2 times 0 squared. We have negative 1 over 2 times 0, which is 0, minus negative 1 over 2 times 9, plus 1 over 2 times 4, right? And that's going to be positive 2, minus negative 1 over 2 times 0, which is 0. And we're almost done. So we have 0 minus negative 1 over 2 times 9, which is negative 9 over 2, plus 2. This will give us positive 9 over 2 plus 2, which is 4 over 2. This is 13 over 2, which is simply 6.5.